I'm ready. We're ready. Okay, this is Sohan Domingo, working for Tate Communications since one year, um, and you're in the role of? I'm, a, I'm in the role of uh, a solution strategy for applications and devices global. Okay, so there was something about your presentation yesterday. You went very fast through the presentation. It was so interesting that I like to learn more about edge computing. Can you explain a little bit more what's that has to do with critical communications. Absolutely, and so what's happening today, uh, Gert, in this critical communications industry is uh, the customers such as police, fire and ambulance, and not only in uh, public safety, but utilities and mining, are trying to solve issues at the edge where they want information being processed at the edge and decisions taken at the edge rather than doing it in cloud. Traditionally, you'd have data being sent from the edge back on an LTE network, from an LTE network to a cloud platform. The processing would take over there and then the information would be streamed back. This causes a lot of delay and a lot of latency and to get that information you need to wait sometimes a couple of uh, seconds but when you start looking into IoT and you're talking about 5G which is a catalyst for IoT and edge computing by the way there's a need for ultra reliable and low latency communication which means you want to process the data on the edge and and have AI ML algorithms running around this data for processing this data and providing an output immediately to the application and to the first responder in the field. So you want to show me something, right? Yes, absolutely. Come on over. Okay. So we're now going through this setup here at the booth of Tate Communications about unified solutions. So what is it you want to show here? What I want to show is the ability to actually take a mobile torso, an existing mobile radio inside the vehicle and add edge computing capabilities into it for multi-communication, multi-barrier switching. Okay. What you see over here is a unified vehicle. Yes. And uh, this is this is the um, this is the, it has its mic and it's the control head, but behind is an edge computing that is attached to the mobile torso. So an example would be you're driving down and you're on an LMR network and you do a push to talk one two three four five and you lose connection because you're now outside the LMR zone. The system automatically recognizes that you're no more in the LMR zone and looks for working communication networks such as your LTE and satellite. And when it gets LTE, it jumps into LTE. And all of this done today without any manual intervention. So people in the field, such as the police officers and the operators using the system, don't need to manually change the channel, but the system automatically and seamlessly transfers from one communication network to another. So unified communication is bridging the gap by having one device that does LTE, satellite, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and LMR. We converge everything on one simple device. In this case, we don't need a base station that exists of, let's say, DMR and LTE or Tetra and LTE. So there's this gateway, actually, what you guys are using. Um, that, that, to an extent, would be the future. You'll still need a base station for DMR. You still need a base station for LTE. But the voice interoperability between your LTE and the different flavors of LMR is done through a Tate gateway at the back end. All right. Okay. So the Tate gateway can get voice from P25 and send the voice to an LTE network which would then come into your uh, that for example, Team Sony, PTT, Sonom, Sonom, device, Sonom right? exactly. This is a Sonom device that has a Team PTT application. It's, um, it's, um, we're working to make it mission critical push to talk, but as of now, it's over the top push to talk. You can install it on premise or in cloud. So if you are on an LMR network on unified comms and you want to do a push to talk and you do a push to talk on an LMR network, one, two, three, four, five, you your voice on a push to talk on LTE device. So that back end integration is done by a Tate system. So this is the deployable from Tate. Now, this should be light, right? It is light. Oh, it is light. It, it is, is light. light. Awesome. <laughs> it is light. So it, it's less heavier than all of my gear that I'm using when I'm traveling around the world. So this is quite so interesting. So what is inside this rucksack? That's a very good question, Gert. And as you see, you lifted the backpack and you found it quite light to carry. Um, what's inside this um, rucksack? or the deployable as it is called, it contains its own Evolve Packet Core and its own small cell. So you have, let's say, the likes of 
Vodafone, Telstra, Optus, all in a backpack. It comes into handy when you don't have LMR connection or neither do you have an LTE connection from a service provider. And now you have the fireys who want to go out there and provide comms to the people in the field. All they do is they just set this up. As you see, they have an antenna over here. Oh, this, this is an antenna? This is an antenna. All oh, right, this is, take a look. This is, it's, it's mounted down there. Correct. And as you know, as laws of physics uh, say, the more bigger the antenna, the long, no longer it is, the better coverage that you get. This rucksack has its own um, LTE modem. I'm sorry, it's E node B. That's the terminology used uh, in okay. LTE. So if you want to put an uh, E node B, this is where you actually put in. And it supports multiple bands, 1800, 2100, 2700. And once you put in your E node B, you then configure the EPC that is sitting inside this processing unit. And you can run applications like your mission critical push to talk applications. And we have an application over here from a partner company. This is a tactical application that is being used today by the Australian Defence Force. And uh, you could do things like whiteboarding. It also supports push to talk. You can do push to talk, you can do push to video. Uh, the server for this application sits right now okay. or is installed on over here. So that's kind of interesting. You guys are taking not the next leap, but the leap after the next leap. Absolutely. And you see, we showed you unified communications. We showed you deployable. We spoke about edge computing as well. Our next leap would be trying to build artificial intelligence and machine learning inside these edge computing um, devices that I've shown. Just a matter of time, right? Just a matter of time.